this is Jen and thank you for joining me over on the Joy Claire Designs channel. Um, today I am using this beautiful floral friendship collection which is part of the new release from Joy Claire and today I will be using or creating two cards using this set. So I've gone ahead and I printed these out on my laser printer and I went ahead and I took the single floral piece and then I just made a bunch of them so there are a bunch of five and then I modified the sentiments a little bit but because I printed these on my laser printer that allows me to go ahead and foil these so I'm using some foil I had in my stash and I'm just going to cut that down to size so I'm going to foil the sentiment sets first in this pretty red foil and I am using my mink to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in this little paper pocket and run this through my mink machine this is a mini mink actually um, you can use a laminating machine if that's what you have and then it's time for the big reveal and so when you pull away that piece of foil paper that beautiful red shines through and then for the florals I'm going to go ahead and use this pearlescent foil and it's kind of hard to tell on the screen but it is really it's kind of more of a silver look because the image is so small um, and so I'm going to go ahead and use my Tombos to color up this image mainly in this 312 and so what I'm going to do is place a little bit of ink on my floral image and then spread that with water and then I'll go back over all of the floral pieces once that has dried to um, do a little bit of shading and darken up the image a little bit and I'm using a very light amount of water and so it is not going to disrupt that uh, edge for the foiled image and then I'm going to take two more Tombow markers, 126 and 158, and just alternate those when coloring the leaf areas of the floral piece. So I'm just taking the marker and putting that towards at the base of the leaf image and then at the end of it, and then moving that color with my paintbrush towards the center where there will be a highlight. And then once I'm done with that, I've gone ahead and grabbed an oval die from my stash. And I will go ahead and run that through my die cut machine. And because I cut the <laughs> paper that the floral image is on kind of funky, I wanted to make sure that I, when I place that back on with adhesive that I would get it correct. So I'm taking a pencil and outlining that and then I'll go ahead and put the adhesive on and when I put that backing or the floral piece in the frame I'll know where to place it because I have marked it with a pencil. And I am using a little bit of twine so I created a bow and then I am just using a single piece and I'm just going to take some of my adhesive and put that on that back side to adhere the twine so I'm just going to start it there and then wrap it around the front and then tie it off and then the sentiment one of these sentiments that I foiled in the red foil I'm adding a piece of foam tape to the top and the bottom so that the string can go in between and I had cut that out using a smaller oval die and then I'm just going to take a glue dot and adhere the bow and then to pop this up I'm using a super thin piece of foam tape. So this is like the dollar store a thin foam tape or the Walmart kind that's in the um, really big packs. Um, this is not adhesive so I did have to adhere this with um, a my adhesive and so I'm just going to go ahead and place that on my card base. Um, I added a few enamel dots and that will finish off this first card. I really like how the foil looks on this card, on the sentiment and on the flowers as well. It gives it a, an elegant feel and then um, the twine and the enamel dots just get, ties it all together. And then for my second card what I'm going to do is use that leftover piece from the first card. So this is basically the negative space um, on the foil and I thought I'd go ahead instead of getting rid of it. I, I th thought I'd go ahead and make a card. So I have taken an oval die and cut out a piece of white backing paper. I've cut out the foil piece and then I've cut out a thin foiled um, red border. And the sentiment that I'm using right here is sending hugs. And I'm just going to place that in the center of that oval piece 
And then I will adhere the leftover foil piece to my frame. And I've placed the little, the thin floral border or the thin foil border underneath so that I could tell where to put my glue dots. Um, and once I have my glue dots on that piece of foil, I'll go ahead and adhere those two pieces together. And then to glue the frame portion to the white backing, I'm just gonna take my glue again and I'm going to place that around the white cardstock this time. And I'm just making sure that I place it towards the edge. And I'm using little dots, or I'm putting down little dots just to make sure that I don't have too much glue and that that glue does not um, seep into my frame area once I place the frame. Um, I am using a piece of red cardstock to mat this uh, oval frame. And I'll add a few embellishments to finish off this card and that will complete my set of cards for this set. Um, if you're interested in purchasing the set, all the links will be in the description below. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you like this video or found informative, please give it a thumbs up. Um, thanks again and I'll catch you next time.